obvious what's in the box. That's to reveal the surprise. It's good sometimes to do some cleaning up in the plants and you find things I forgot about. Another trifecta. Just a very nice a unit. This meter was used by the former Weitermatt Electric Power Board as a portable check meter to check loading on certain sites. The meter reads true value for 500 to 5 ampere CT ratios. That sounds like an old coupling. This is the kilowatt hour register. This is running, I've got a 2 kilowatt load on here at the moment. The kilovolt ampere register, which is the algebraic summation of the KWH and the KVARH. And the KVAR register. Note that this component is not turning at this stage because the load is purely resistive. I'll show you what the load is. Just got a uh, 2 kilowatt element sitting here temporarily connected to this uh, multi-core cable which is um, a 10 core cable to control the meter. The device, the cable goes through the ground here. Oh, that's my foot. Yeah, on the ground. And into the box. These Landis and Gear trivector meters are usually beautifully engineered. Typical Swiss in uh, English British engineering. Let's have a bit closer to the inwards on the active component. Um, here we see the top brake magnets. Potential call is up here, current calls. And then we got the potential call for the middle phase, yellow phase, and there is another potential call behind the nameplate. Discs are almost like mirrors if you look at this, it's just a perfect piece of engineering. Two weight, low and high weight. Cave our component has, is geared from both of the meters and here we got a timing device which controls the maximum demand indicator. This is an integration period of 30 minutes and resets the dial every 30 minutes. KVA times 1. This meter as I said before reads for 500 to 5 ampere and uh, the highest reading is a million units of KVAs. And that's the KVAR register which is not moving at this stage because of uh, resistive load applied. I will set it up one day, oops. I'll set it up one day with uh, an inductive load and see if the meter is moving as such. No, that's not moving at all. Okay, another thing, have a look at the dials. To make life hard for meter readers and uh, everybody, but it's still interesting. They, uh, the bottom two registers are inversed as the opposite uh, top registers. The 5 is on the top and the 5 is on the bottom. Besides of the fact that one dial goes to the left, one goes to the right, one goes to the left and so on. These are mirror images, so the lowest denomination factor is times 10. 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000 and 1 million. So this particular meter reads 5,950,453 units KVAs. 
also why this me when this meter spins around I'll do a shout for it's a D Glad 4. He is an Australian friend of mine. He's a young electrician. He's also interested in meters and electrical uh, activities. Have a look on his channel. I'll put a link on this particular video. So it's uh, D Glad 4. He lives in Adelaide in uh, electrician in the making. Test terminal blocker standard current in potential in current out red phase yellow blue phase in a couple of jumpers for neutrals in auxiliary control points also three MDI meters are fitted which uh, don't really uh, matter about the power factor as such as um, NDI maximum demand indicator readings and a test blockers on this side of the device found another lens and gear 28 meter 50 ampere base load it's basically 150 ampere meter with a large terminal cover and an old British Thompson and Houston meter Four digits and it reads not kilowatt hours, it reads board of trade units. Uh, this meter will feature in a future video. So that's my blurb for today. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. Hope you enjoy this video.